everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Hollywood, and today I wanted to show you the ColourPop and Mandalorian uh, collection that came out uh, last year. And uh, this is the Rescue. This is the set right here. This is a Lux Lip Oil. And I had to grab this. I grabbed this at Ulta for $9, and I also grabbed the Mandalorian palette for $8. $8 guys um, and currently on the website it runs 16 retails for 16 for the palette and I believe 18 for the liquid lip lux oils um so yeah so that's what we're looking at now here when I opened it up this is stunning packaging already and look wherever he goes I go it's Mando holding baby Grogu right there love it love it now this is nine highly pigmented pressed powder shades Look how gorgeous this is. And this, these colors, the color stories are perfect to make any smoky eye neutrals, earth tones, and they're buttery mattes, mattes with sparkles, shimmering, molten metallic finishes. Look, it's so adorable. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this was a must-have. I have my baby... Um, at the time, the child, my uh, Grogu palette, but I didn't know if he was ever going to make a comeback, and I only had one, so I didn't swatch him yet, but now that I've played with this palette, I will certainly uh, take a better interest in playing with that palette now. So here is Best Car Steel. Here you can see it is a metallic silver. Look at this gorgeous color, and the light hits it every which way, and I absolutely love it. This is with flash on, by the way. Absolutely like, this is the first color that I looked at that I was attracted to that I was like, mm-hmm, I'm going to swatch that probably all over, all over my whole body. Here is Navarro Sand, and this is a matte mustard color. Now, normally, I wouldn't gravitate to a mustard color, but look how this baby swatches. So it's very pigmented, very on the mustard side, not too yellow, not too brown, but a nice blend. I absolutely love it as a transition shade. Here's Bantha Tracks. This is a matte cool nude. And here it is, almost like on a pinky side right there, like a brownie cool pinky color. Absolutely adore that color as well. It's a good transition color as well as a nice little light lid color. Here is Imperial Credit, and this is a metallic nickel color. And I do love when I swatched it, look how glittery this one is. And I like that it's different than uh, Best Car Steel, so it's a little bit of a deeper color. Nice little um, reflex in that one as well. Then there's Clan of Two, which is a metallic blackened teal with green flip and mauve undertone. Look how gorgeous that one is. And I first was attracted to that color because I saw like the flex of the teal in there in the brown. And I was like, wow, I wonder how that's going to swatch. And that was so adorable. Here is Tatooine Glimmer, which is a metallic antique bronze. Now, look how this one is swatching. I love it. I love the glitter. That is, it, it is so much glitter, but it's not like, a crazy amount of glitter it is like just the right amount in the swatch. I absolutely am obsessed with this. Then we have Mythosaur, which is a matte soft dove gray. Now let's see how this one swatches. I've been like fooled by grays before. Oh look, and it swatches rather nice. So yeah, you'll have to, you know, build it up for sure, but it's okay. You can also use a brush and if the brush doesn't work, use your fingers. It's not a problem. Here is, this is the way it's a matte gray again. So it'd be a nice like outer, like if you're going to use the first um, Mythosaur, then I would probably use this one as like a, to deepen it. Um, and then there's Creed, which is a matte chocolate with silver pinpoints in there. Look how gorgeous this color is. And here it is swatched. And I love that it's not as much glitter as like the other ones in the shimmering um, uh, press powders, but it is nicely just sparkling throughout it. And I love it for a deep inner cor outer corner. Um, yeah, I, this is a total thing swatched right here on my arm, the total palette. Uh, absolutely obsessed already. Nine shades inside here, guys, so I love that it's not too big either. Um, here are the lip oils, and let's see, once again, retails for 18 but I caught it on Ulta for $9. So here we have 
two of the lip glosses. This is Grogu, which is a clear gloss with flecks of green, gold, and silver glitter. Now, as a glitter babe, I absolutely gravitated to this one. One, because it was Grogu. Two, because there was glitter. And then we have Din Djarin, which is a sheer warm terracotta. And I love that it is still gloss formula, so pigmented gloss really caught my eye. So let's give these a swatchy swatch, and it is very nourishing. You can already feel it, the jojoba oil in there. And look how gorgeous this is, guys. Like, look at this. Every which way I turn my hand, I see a different color, either the green, the gold, or the silver. <gasps> oh, I want to marinate in this. And then here is Din Djarin. Here's what it's swatching like on my hand. And it's nice because if you just want a nice little neutral lip that's not overwhelming, this the whole palette really, you just want a nice little neutral earthy tone look. Now I'm going to be adding drenched lash drip kiss lashes and going to apply that with my duo clear glue. And I'm just going to add that to spice up the look a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are interested in the look I'm going to create today. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try this. Okay, let's go. This is the way. It's what it's looking like in the um, natural lighting. Um, as you can see, it's getting darker out. So I did one in the sun, one inside, and one in natural like lighting. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. And as you can see, it's still on. And it's looking good if you like the more natural nude browns and you don't mind a few shimmers. I would say this palette is awesome. It's very pigmented and you can see the colors. The shimmers are stunning. I love the shimmers. I like the two-tone uh, reflex that are in some of them as well, like the green-brown one. I wasn't sure if I was going to like that one, but when I swatched it, it was gorgeous. And then the lip oils. I like the lip oils. They're different. They remind me of um, when I was in high school, I used to have like the rollerball ones and, uh, they were, I think they were like flavored even like bubble gum or something. It had like a little ro roller ball tip. And that's honestly what I thought it was when I first saw it. I thought they were roller balls because it's called a lip oil and I didn't know what a Lux lip oil was. So when you pop it off, it does have a little, um, applicator on there and then you just put the applicator tip straight to your lips and it makes it more of a glossy look without all like the stringy glossiness that a gloss will give you you know when you're talking it'll be like ugh, stringy so I do like that it has a nice um just nice little texture to it, it you know because I'm not a huge fan of gloss anymore after being a huge liquid lip fan so I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it but then the Grogu one I love first off because they actually title him Grogu and not Baby Yoda. So, you know, because that's what people know him as. And now he is Grogu. He has a name. And Din Djarin is Mando's name. So I like the fact that they named it after Mando. But I wear, I'm wearing currently um, Din Djarin with Grogu in the center. So in the light, you can see the glitter on there. And I do like that. You could have an option of like kind of I guess like a not really like I don't know like a color gloss I guess a pigmented gloss and then putting over a glitter on top of it but I didn't want to mix them together so I had to swipe swatch it on my finger and then apply it to my lips because I don't want to mix the colors in um the jars I don't like doing that so I'll tell you the colors that I use so for my um transition colors I use Navarro Sand and Bantha Tracks and then for my inner corner and uh, like underliner here as well as the lid half my lid I used best car steel and then I used Creed here on the end and that's it I only use those four colors and then down here I used Creed again and then like I said the best best car steel that's all I did for this look and I used my Ioni <laughs> I got to test drive my Ioni um, prime primer um, let's see the eyeliner the mascara and then my lashes are called lash drip this is drenched by kiss and um, yeah I'll keep you guys updated on that because I'm still reviewing if it's staying and lasting power and so far you guys can see it is lasting 
pretty well. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks again. Uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is the way. I can't wait for Mandalorian 3 to start. I'm so excited for that. I'm watching the Book of Boba Fett currently. If you're watching it, let me know down below if you're enjoying it. Um, so far, I've only seen the first episode. The first episode's the only one they've launched so far. But so far, it's been outstanding. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. And thanks again for watching. Bye, guys.